Hey little sinkers and welcome back to the first and only channel on YouTube. I am in Anaheim, California for VidCon. That's why the uh, change of setting. Uh, but I was thinking something recently, you know, I, I've been calling you the little stinkers for a long time and I don't remember why I did that and I think I want to change it up. So I thought it would be funny if uh, for my fan base I just picked like a random name, like a first name and called you guys that. So from now on you guys are Kevin. Uh, so what's up, Kevin? Welcome back. Hey, to oh, uh, Danny. I saw your video where you said you were going to name your fans Kevin. That's my thing. I call my fans Greg. It's like the same thing that you're doing right now. Oh, I, is it? I, I've, I've never seen one of your videos before. You've been in one of my videos. You, you usually text me about my videos. What do you mean? You're right. I've seen every one of your videos. Wait, how did you see this video? I haven't even uploaded it yet. Oh, well, you know how sometimes you get a notification for a video like three days after it's been posted? Yeah. I got yours three days early. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wanna, Wanna make, make a video? video? Okay. Okay. What's up, Greg? It's me, Danny. Uh, no, 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 Back with Dan another episode. No, no, no. it's, it's my channel? Okay. Yeah. What's up, Greg? It's me, Danny. Back with another hilarious video. Uh, today we're going to be uh, uh, looking at Facebook. What is it? How do I get there? Why are my grandchildren on it? Why, why didn't my kids tell me they had, they had kids? So Facebook's a lot of fun, wouldn't you say? Um, it's fun for getting to know your racist relatives. Racist relatives, yeah. yeah, for sure. Like, I have a lot of relatives, and I, I, I kind of thought they were racist, but I didn't have any proof. Mm -hmm. And then thanks to Facebook. Now I know. Yeah. Yeah, so Facebook has this feature. It's been around for a while. It's like Craigslist, um, except it, it combines all the, the nonsense of Craigslist with the nonsense of Facebook into one just amazing place for people to sell their stuff or, you know, poorly describe whatever it is they think they're trying to sell, overcharge you for things that shouldn't be the price that they think seem to think that they are. And uh, it's a lot of fun. So let's just jump into it. <laughs> if you were looking for, you were in the market for pacifiers, would you say that Facebook is like the one and only resource you would use for that? Well, I definitely wouldn't want new pacifiers. I would definitely want to make sure that someone's used them already. Right. So would you say so that like Facebook... broken in already. Yeah. I want something that's already been sucked on a good amount by a different baby. And then who knows, maybe the, those two babies will become friends. Uh, but five bucks for nine pacifiers and a holder. And a holder? Is the holder the Ziploc yeah, bag that they're in? the Ziploc bag. <laughs> this convenient carrying case. This carrying case. <laughs> like, how strapped for cash do you have to be where you're selling <laughs> nine pacifiers in a Ziploc $5. bag for $5? I have standards for my babies and their kids. Mm -hmm. um, the, the kid, their kids are older than them. It's a long story. But oh. I, I have very high standards for them. So I'm going to splurge on pacifiers if I need to. This, this one doesn't appeal to me. But this one, some Ooh. Juicy Couture. These are designer pacifiers, probably custom. They're good. not pacifiers, they're Juicy Passies. Juicy Passies. My big fault with this, the reason this doesn't stand out to me, is because it's new. It says never used. Oh. That, to me, that's a deal breaker. Never used by anyone? I would assume so, yeah. Well, hmm, that's weird. Usually, even when they're just making them, don't they usually test them out? Maybe they're saying ex good. excluding the initial suck right, from... Right, because that like, goes without saying. Yeah. This is my favorite uh, product on here. Um, so this guy is either drunk or on the <laughs> damn phone. <laughs> For $8. $8. Do you think that this person was trying to make a Facebook status and they accidentally made a Facebook Marketplace <laughs> post? But why, what were they, th <laughs> what, did they... Did they think that Facebook was asking them how much they thought the status was worth? <laughs> yeah, it was like, okay, yeah, you type in... Whenever you submit a status to Facebook, you type in the status and then and Facebook <laughs> offers to buy it from you so they can post it on their site. Exactly. So that's why it came up with such a funny caption. This right, guy is either drunk or on, or on the, the damn, damn phone. phone. I'm a big fan of this. Silicone Ash and Drake Baby Doll. Never out of box. I'm glad that it's silicone. I'm glad, I'm glad I know what it's made out of. Right, it's, you don't, so you don't think it's a real baby. <laughs> I like that it says never out of box, and this box is like torn to shreds. <laughs> like maybe you should have taken it yeah, out of the box. Yeah, maybe take it out of the box. The box seems to be an, a bad influence on this. <laughs> this is the second picture. <laughs> <laughs> what they, am I looking at here, Drew? What is... <laughs> so they seem to have flipped the baby <laughs> on its stomach. Pulled up the dress and to show you its ass. Is this like a thing that people look look at when they're buying a doll? They're like, right. okay, everything seems in check. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> and the the guy selling the doll is like, yes, that is. This is part of the process. Yeah. I like that you don't see the front, like the tummy. Right. You just need to see face and, and ass. ass. A night out at Applebee's, a total of fifty five dollars, selling for the steal of a price at 
only 40 bucks. I kind of feel like this is just some lonely guy yeah. who is losing money on this deal. He goes to Applebee's and buys $55 yeah. gift cards and then is selling them for $40 just so he can meet people off Facebook Marketplace. Do you think that when you go and you buy the gift card from him, he just like, He's like, all right, you ready to go? And he just, like, <laughs> follows you. <laughs> okay, now, we talked about pacifiers for a bit. Mm -hmm. We talked about baby dolls for a we bit. We talked about baby dolls for a bit. But, like, if you have a baby, there's more than just pacifiers and baby dolls. Mm -hmm. You gotta buy diapers. Diapers. Oh, sure. So these are Bum Genius 3.0 pocket diapers. Uh, 1.0 and 2.0, total failures. 3.0, I feel like they really perfected the recipe. Mm. Um, yeah, the firmware updates... <laughs> to the newer version were really helped out. <laughs> I love the way this is described. These aren't just used, these are very used. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely used. These are as used as can be. We pooped in these. We threw up in these. We had sex in these. <laughs> <laughs> these are very used. I wonder what the buying process is like for these. You go and is the person's wearing the diapers, obviously, to show obviously. that they work. So you look at the person's face and then you spin them around, around and lift up their dress and look at their butt. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's typically how it goes. Rotating CD holder. Excellent condition. Excellent condition. Holds 150 plus CDs. I think I thought this was funny because because it's a rotating CD holder and the picture is so blurry. I feel like they wanted to prove that, look, it does rotate. So they took a picture of it. See how blurry it is? That's how you can tell that it rotates. It's going so fast. It's going so fast you can hardly keep up with it. Wow, I'm going to be able to find my CDs so fast. <laughs> Twin, you pick up. <laughs> Dresser. Some scratches. I don't I don't know if I'd say some scratches. Looks like only scratches. It's, it's I actually can't see the dresser past all of the scratches. <laughs> I think this is just a picture of scratches. I just I don't like that I have no reference for size. I right. could show up and this could be twenty feet tall and then since I've already paid for it, I would just be stuck with it and yeah. I'd have to figure out some way to get it into my house and Or buy a bigger house just to accommodate my new dresser, which sucks. I yeah. hate when I have to do that. Table five dollars, <laughs> table three chairs. <laughs> Also, where's the third chair? <laughs> <laughs> Everything you need for a toddler. Brand new from Ikea. Never even used. Extended. Oh, what? Never used? Then how do I know if it'll fit my baby? Uh, uh. It's like the reason you go, you, you look on Yelp before you go to a restaurant. You want to know what, what other people's experience... Time. Well, I was going to, well, yeah, but I was going to say you just want to know someone's experience with the thing before you go. So it's like, yeah, yeah. I want to know, you know, has the kid pooped in the diaper? Has the kid pooped in the bed? Has the kid pooped on the pillows? Yeah, they've got toys and utensils. Has the kid pooped on the toys? Mm -hmm. Has the kid pooped on the utensils? Has the bed pooped on the kid? Has the bed pooped on the other bed? Has the utensils <laughs> pooped on the toys? Have I pooped on you? Will you poop on me? <laughs> <laughs> I like that she has her eyes closed. Because it makes her look disappointed for some reason. She's like, she looks so angry. So you're telling me I can hire this girl to paint to to paint, paint her own faces. face. <laughs> it's like an act. She comes to the party and she, she paints, paints her own her face, face in front as of Batman you. as every every time. Yeah, it's, it's the only one she knows how to do, and then she just does this. 1995 240SX clean tittle, <laughs> selling as is. Which is <laughs> not a car. <laughs> not as a car. <laughs> no tires. No seats inside. The trunk has been dismantled. Uh, Red nose pit bulls. Seven weeks. Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> I, that's why I was looking so closely at it. I was trying to find the red-nosed pit bulls. Oh, there they there are. There they are. All the way over there. <laughs> Army <laughs> crawling into the street. <laughs> I don't think I took a picture of the description of this. Well, if I had to guess, there's probably not even a description of it. Because it's like, well, what the fuck do you What think? do you want me yeah. to say about this? What can I say about this that hasn't already been said? <laughs> I wish they would show a picture of his ass. Because I want to see his face, but then I would also like them to lift up his I back thought we established, if you're selling a doll, yeah. face, ass. I mean, quite frankly, it's a little bit disgusting. But guys only want one thing in a doll. Face and, and ass. Coffee mate for busy office or home. If you had to guess the name of the person who would sell this coffee machine, that's clearly like, I feel like he just stole this from a hotel. Okay, sure. And now he's selling it for himself. But what, um, what would you guess his name is? Uh, Sneaky McSwipes? Uh, close. How about Crim Jim? <laughs> if you had to guess where Crim Jim worked, 
would you guess boss at none of your business? Well, what about where he studied? Mm, I'd say the School of Hard Knocks at the University of Life. Yeah, this does sound like somebody who just stole a coffee machine <laughs> from a hotel. I work at none of your business, and I went to the School of Hard Knocks. Give me $200. Yeah, I do what I do to get by. <laughs> you know when you're sitting in a hot tub and you're like, man, this is great, but I wish more people used this that I didn't know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of the benefit of buying this. Well, yeah, because I want to know, like, has the baby pooped in the hot tub? <laughs> Will you poop on me? Seriously, Danny, please poop on me. This Does the, the hot bit? tub work? Okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> are there any babies around? Can you poop in my mouth, Danny? Yeah. Is the water hot enough? I couldn't tell. Some of those seem like they weren't part of a bit. Like, you could, because you... Some of what? Never mind. It's just, you, you seem kind of persistent about the me pooping on you thing, but it's, it's fine. I thought it was part of the bit. I, it's probably just part of the bit. I don't know if you even remember saying it, but... Uh, no. This, I, I kind of blacked out when we started filming. Okay. Um, hey, speaking of love, wedding and engagement rings. Well, this is a great picture of the rings. Yeah, it's good because when I want to buy anything, I think, like, what will this look like if I'm standing on the sun? <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't think I can make it to heaven just to pick these rings up. <laughs> this is a steal. I mean, only a couple small side diamonds. Which, which are, are easy, easy to, to replace. replace. <laughs> for sure. We're getting into the good stuff here. I need VHS movies. I have about $2. <laughs> I mean, when you have that much money, you sort of lose track of it. It doesn't Who has time to count. Yeah. One. I mean, we, we'll be here all day. We'll be here yeah. all day if we keep going. <laughs> this is probably a same, to the same person. Does anyone have any scary movies for sale that does not skip? <laughs> Such as Shark Night, Oculus, <laughs> Poop in My Mouth, Oculus, Shark Night 2, Mouthful of Poop, Please, Danny, Could Ya, Oculus okay, 2. Okay, yeah, no, that thing you're doing right there, yeah. Where we're talking about the Facebook bit? We're talking we about started Facebook talking about it, and then you, we're talking about me pooping in your mouth, or... Mm, no, thank you. My tummy's full. <laughs> Does anybody buy scrap metal or anything? Just asking. <laughs> For free. For free. I don't have any to sell. I and even if I did, I, I wouldn't. No, thank you. But, like, does anybody buy that? I'm just asking around. Yeah, this is more of like a... I think she could have Googled this or maybe put it on Yahoo Answers or something, but Facebook Marketplace seems Facebook like, Marketplace is a reasonable I think where she fucked ask. up is that she's not offering a price for this valuable answer, yeah, this yeah, valuable yeah. information. I'd pay good money to know if other people are selling <laughs> scrap metal. <laughs> Samsung flat screen for, you guessed it, $850. Can I see a picture of the TV or... No. Just a close-up bag of Doritos. <laughs> Brand new in, in box. the box. No, the... It's in the bag. The, oh. the TV's in there. That's why I can't show you a picture of the TV. He doesn't want to take it out of the box. He hasn't done it, taken it out of the box yet. Yeah. Ooh, free. As long as you pay $20 or $30. <laughs> They've been in my garage, so I need to clean them out? They're free, but they're also $20? $30? I, I don't, don't know. I feel like everything here should have a question mark after it. Garden <laughs> decorations, I guess. <laughs> You know how, like, you just need stuff to put on your coffee table and you're willing to spend any amount of money on it? Yeah, obviously. What about a book about Hawaii, Day in the Life? I would pay upwards of 10 grand for that, but... What about only $5? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No. I like, they put the dimensions for a magazine, which you don't really need to do. 10 by 14, 14 by, by 1. Seems to be about <laughs> 1 by 1 magazine. 10 inches by 14 <laughs> inches by 1 magazine. Yeah. It's about the thickness of a mag... You've held a magazine before? Right. Yeah. Can I have $5 now, please? I don't understand. Do you have any, like, do you have a coffee table with coffee table books? Uh, yeah, but it's not something I would ever spend money. You just kind of accumulate shit that you put on the coffee. Like, I have yeah. enough coffee table clutter. Mm -hmm. I'm not really looking to spend money on more. Yeah, my coffee table's just always covered in coffee. Oh, you know what I forgot to tell you? This video is sponsored. Oh, okay, um, cool. By Dollar Save Club, which is... <gasps> I left it at home. You, the, you left the whole sponsorship The whole sponsorship at home. At home. Okay, um, well... I I will be right back. I gotta fly back to Orlando real quick. Okay, we're in LA, so that's about uh, what is that, a seven hours, seven flight? minutes. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm a YouTuber. Have you ever had a pathetic little baby mustache that you can't wait to get rid of, but you don't have a razor to shave it off with? Or maybe you're scared to shave it off because you don't have this amazingly soft shave butter. Or maybe your entire body reeks from head to toe, and you want it to smell like lavender instead. Or maybe you just took a dump. If one or all of these things describe you, then head on over to dollarshaveclub.com slash Drew to get everything I'm holding in my hand right now shipped straight to your door for just five bucks. And while you're there, check out all their other great products because Dollar Shave Club is about more than just razors. They've got toothpaste for your teeth. They've got hair gel and shampoo. 
for your teeth. They've even got moisturizers so you can make sure that your teeth are nice and soft. But when you do go, make sure you click on my link in the description so they know who sent you. Uh, it helps my channel out a lot and it's a super convenient way for you guys to get stuff mailed to you that you are probably going to get anyway. Thank you so much to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring today's video and helping support independent creators like myself. I am, uh, I'm going to go back to California now. So. Hey, I'm so sorry about that. Hey. Um, sorry, uh, that took, ooh, 15 minutes. I'm sorry you were sitting here that whole how time. How did you get to Orlando that fast? I don't want to talk about it. Um, well, guys, thank you so much for watching uh, this episode of... Uh, this was another episode, episode of You Still Can't Prove That We're Not the Same Person. We are different people, but this video did nothing to prove that. Mm -hmm. I think that this video is a little bit different than your usual stuff because you usually don't collab, but I think after this video it's right. safe to say that we can get back, back to, to your regular, regular content. content. Fine, I'll shit in your mouth one time. But Yummy! You <laughs>